Welcome to RoboHead's Quick Start video series. This video will show you how to get around within the RoboHead application. First, log in using your email address and password. If you've forgotten your password or it isn't working, click Forgot Password to securely reset it. You can customize what you see in RoboHead. Adjust your column view by holding and dragging the handle between columns. Drag the column title to adjust column order. To sort a column in alphabetical order, click the column title once. Click a second time to sort in reverse order. In the upper right corner of your screen, Click the auto fit icon to fit columns within the width of your screen and again to stretch the columns to full width. You can also export a spreadsheet or PDF of the project view. Refresh to manually update the screen. Check the boxes for columns you wish to see and uncheck the boxes for those you don't and then click apply. In the filter search box, you can quickly find active projects by typing in their name or number. Click the X in the blue box to remove this or any other applied filters. To create custom filters, click on the filter icon and select New Filter. Here, you can create a filter based on one or more conditions. For example, if you wish to see only items for a particular client, select Client for your column field, select Includes for your comparison, and then the client's name for the value. If you wish to save the filter, set a filter name. Then select your filter condition and click Apply or one of the Save options to retain the filter for future use. You can use, modify, or delete saved filters by clicking on the filter icon and navigating to Saved Filters. To delete a filter, remove any applied filters, go to Saved Filters, and click the trash can icon next to the filter name. Navigate to the bottom of the screen to adjust the number of projects you're viewing on one page. You can also navigate between pages by using the arrows, page numbers, or by manually typing in a page number and pressing enter. Projects have a variety of multi-select actions available. To access these, select multiple projects and then click on the Actions menu that appears in the upper right corner of the screen. Note that the actions available in this menu are based on your user role. Many screens in RoboHead offer a variety of different views. In the Project list, for example, you will see the List view by default. You can switch to a Calendar view for a month-by-month -month view, the Kanban view for a drag-and-drop project prioritization view, and the Gantt chart for a timeline view that includes tasks and reviews within each project. If you have a project task or other item you frequently interact with inside the RoboHead application, you can add it as a favorite through the Project Actions menu and access it in the Favorites menu in the upper right corner next to the Search button.
Tags offer another way to search and track items within Robohead. Add a tag by clicking on the tag icon next to any item. You can add shared tags if you have the appropriate user permissions. These are viewable by all users. Otherwise, you can add personal tags visible only to you. Type in a personal tag and hit enter to create, then click submit. Once created, you can then use this tag on other items and filter using this tag. Robohead offers a few different ways to search for projects and other items within the application. Click the magnifying glass to search. Quick Search allows you to search by project, request, and campaign number or name. Using Advanced Search, you can search a wider variety of items and also search based on any keyword within a project, as well as by dates and tags. Click on the user arrow to access functions and settings for your user profile. Select Modify My Profile to update your email address and password, as well as personalize your account. Select Manage My Notification Preferences to control which notifications you receive and how often you receive them. Notifications are organized by module and each notification has an event, scope, and notification method. The event is the type of notification, while the scope is the event-specific trigger. There are four options for the notification method. Activity Stream displays notifications in your dashboard's Activity Stream section. Immediate Email notifies you as the event takes place. Daily and Weekly Digests include all notifications for that event in a daily or weekly email. You can enable any or all of these at any time and remove any by clicking the X next to the notification method. You can revert your notifications to default or clear them completely through the Actions menu on this screen. If you have any questions about this video or any other aspect of RoboHead, click the question mark to access our online help or to contact RoboHead support.